Thomas, a lot of people think this current generation of U.S. players is clearly better than anything that came before it. But Josie Altador, a guy you coached at the under-20 level, he stirred some controversy recently. He said the 2014 U.S. team would beat this current team. So where do you come down on that? Do you think the player development has gone to a different level and these guys are better now? Or some of those past U.S. teams deserve more respect? Yeah, I, I, I do. And if this took from a results standpoint, you might even say our 202 run, that, that if it's not for Torsten Frings or whoever, the German, the handball, we're in the final four, guys. You know, that's the, the, the Korea-Japan one as well. And if you take that starting 11 uh, on any given day, I, I would think that that team would still, yes, okay, Tony Science is your right fullback. The young Leonard Donovan, the Barkers Beasley, Conway, Private Bright, uh, played Reagan on the right, you know, that gets a great assist against uh, against Mexico. Kobe Jones, you know, the, in, in the back, we had some experience as well. Uh, I think O'Brien was part of that, uh, part of that one of the few Americans that, that time he played in a fairly high level, you know, at, at Ajax. But I even argue to say that that team, on any given day, could give this team uh, a chance now from afar the experiences uh, that these guys are getting right now like, let's say i'm wearing this milan jersey because i did something for cbs winners and losers this morning uh, of the champions league and you know, i picked Pulisic as a as a winner here you see back in the game at one one second the goal score after jury uh, the sequence starts with uh, with musa Another American, uh, and all of a sudden, if uh, if if you know if Timmy Weah gets healthy, you got four guys that start pretty much for some of the biggest teams in in the world, and you know we're making some great strikes in in the EPL as well. Do we have a player of Manchester City, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid uh, caliber yet? If we, you know, do we need a superstar to break that mold? Uh, on paper, this current team. Yes, it has the most potential, uh, but, you know, the great thing for Greg Berhalter is that we'll find out pretty soon through Copa America where his team is at and can they in the size of big games against the team potentially on paper a little bit better. Uh, can we win those games? Because that's what it's all about. We didn't do against the, the Netherlands. Uh, we got pretty much done by the German team, very similar to what the Netherlands did in, in the World Cup to us as well. Then I go, what strides have we made? And what kind of impact can Bert Berhalter uh, put on this team when he gets them in for three days prior to a, a match? Uh, that's hard. But I still firmly believe that in 26, this team at home could go to the round of eight or final four if they continue their maturity individually with their big clubs in Europe right now, so they get great experiences, uh, play on the pressure, and if we continue to become better uh, as a team, and that's where Berhalter is going to make some tough decisions in terms of his play style, philosophy, and, 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 and even still filling in one or two huge positions, including the number 10 position, the second center back, and, and, and who is your number six right now, if Adam still is, is out. All right. Well, Masi, what I hear Thomas Rangan saying is that Josie Altidore is full of shit. So that's uh, that's the headline with we, what we're going with uh, for it. Uh, listen, Thomas, um, I, I asked this of people, and we're going to let you go, and thank you so much for your time. We could talk for hours and hours and hours. Um, I asked this of people because you have been around American soccer and been around this, this incredible community, and we're celebrating, and hopefully everybody's out there with their family and with their friends and celebrating everything on and off the field that we are as a country and that we are as a soccer-playing nation. And like you said, you've seen this evolution. What is one thing, or you can give me a couple of things if you want, but one thing that is great about American soccer and one thing that is not great about American soccer. I get it. I get it. Next goal wins. Don't worry. We're going to give you plenty of love. Exactly. In Don't you games, worry. In tight games, in tight games, that's it. Next goal wins. So we haven't done that frequently against the better teams in the world, both in friendlies, but more so 
in uh, in, in huge games. You know, struggled throughout qualifying a little bit. Pepe doesn't bail us out. That's another thing. Pepe versus uh, Balogun. Uh, it was your perfect number nine based on you know your playing style and 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 philosophy. You can hardly say that Ricardo Pepe scored the most important goal in Champions League history for the American getting PSV Eindhoven in the round of uh, 16. Um, Lex, I, 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 I'm a big, and I'm, this is gonna, I'm a big Greg Neuralta fan. I'll be real honest with you. I'm a big fan of American coaches and American players in terms of, of, of development. I think that Greg Neuralta uh, can take his team uh, to, the, to the next level, uh, although he's not proven that yet. But when I talked to him, particularly when Gordy Stewart was there, uh, you know, we wrapped a little Dutch because Greg obviously played in, in, in the Netherlands. And I firmly believe that what they put together uh, made a lot of sense to me in terms of their journey, uh, which clearly was the end 2026. And now I'm talking about just when Greg Barolo was hired by Ernie Stewart in the early stages. And I think we're, we're, on, a, we're on the right trajectory. Let, let's let, let's put it that way. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.